One of the most reliable flowers for color in the hot weather is the zinnia. These beautiful flowers come in a rainbow of colors, even lime green, and they're very easy to grow from seeds. A packet of seeds can give you flowers for cutting all summer long. Zinnia seeds do best when planted directly where they grow. They really don't like to be transplanted. So plant them when temperatures are staying over 60 degrees at night and all danger of frost has passed. I like to put out seeds every three to four weeks to have a constant supply of blooms. And we plant them from April to October. The established plants can handle a light frost in the fall. They're not terribly fussy about soil, but they prefer a well-drained soil. Till a bit of compost into the planting area and cover the seeds very lightly with soil and keep it evenly moist. The seeds germinate in a few days and the flowers appear quickly, so they're a fun plant to grow with children. Planting zinnia seeds with my mother is one of my earliest gardening memories, and I think they got me hooked on gardening. Zinnias range from the 10 inch tall linearis varieties with button sized blooms to four foot giants, so the spacing for seeds will vary with the variety. My favorites are the cut and come again and Benary's giant mix, which sometimes grow to four feet tall and give you nice long stems for tall arrangements. The big types are best for the back of a border or grown along a fence or a building for added support. Cut most of the early blooms to make sure the plants are bushy and well branched. Zinnia blooms can be cut before they're fully open for a very long lasting cut flower and they last over a week if kept in clean water with flower food added. Carefully trim the leaves from the stems to have longer lasting blooms. Don't pull the leaves off though as this makes a hole in the stem. Make, cut them with scissors. Once the blooms are cut, allow them several hours or overnight to take up water and harden the stems before arranging them. There are many different kinds of zinnia forms. The dahlia flowered, single, double, ball shaped, crested, cactus flowered. The spiky cactus form was developed here in the US and hybridizers have developed many new forms that are intended for abundant garden color only. Their short stems and short bushy growth make them difficult to use in arrangements, but they add a lot of carefree color to the garden, and those are generally sold in four inch pots. Deadheading or removing the old blooms is crucial to keeping the plants in continuous bloom. Like all annuals, once they produce a mature seed head, they start to decline. So we need to keep them thinking that they still need to make more blooms for seeds. I often throw the clip flowers in the garden beds and get volunteer seedlings coming up. Zinnias have very few insect pest problems and the deer don't eat mine at Lake Austin Spa, although they will in some areas. Snail and slugs can be an issue on new seedlings, so use one of the iron phosphate granule baits or beer traps to control them. One of the big problems you might face with zinnias is powdery mildew, a white powdery coating on the leaves that can kill the plants. Good air circulation around the plants, careful spacing between them, and avoiding water on the leaves will keep them healthy. High humidity and cool nights can create conditions that favor mildew. Many of the newer varieties of zinnias do have improved mildew resistance, so look for those if that's been an issue for you. These beautiful flowers originated in Mexico and were spread all over the world by early explorers. They were considered a poor man's flower since they produce seed abundantly and they're easy to grow. They were named in, 19, in 1763 by Linnaeus in honor of Johann Zinn, a German botany professor who grew the plants in Europe after the seeds had been discovered in the New World. Treat yourself to a packet of zinnia seeds and enjoy colorful bouquets with plenty to share all summer long. For Backyard Basics, I'm Tricia Shirey. Thanks for watching. Thank you.